Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Brittany for those of you who are new. Today I do have a video that I want to share with you. Right now, because of this whole, you know, thing happening, I wanted to just share an everyday makeup routine that I would use if we weren't wearing masks. I recently purchased the new NARS foundation and I wore it once already and let me just say you need it. I'm just gonna be blunt, you need it, I'm sorry if you were eyeing it, don't hold back. It is worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. And we have the new Milk Makeup Setting Spray. Girl, it's good. It's good. She's pretty. We got the travel size because, you know, I wasn't ready to spend the full size on it. So we got these two new goodies to try today. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. And then we have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. And... I did purchase a cream bronzer. We got Fenty Beauty Bronzer. Got the shade Teddy. I was in between this one and the one before this. I think the number four, yeah. But my friend was like, just get the number five. So we're popping her brand new. I didn't use her yet. I am so excited because I have been really enjoying cream products as of lately. So we're gonna try this today. I'm going to basically just recreate that same look that I had that day. And of course, if you have your favorite foundation, please pull that out. I mean, this, is, this will be the same exact routine. It's just kind of showing you how it would be on an everyday basis. To start off, we're gonna prime the skin with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer. I love this thing. If you know, you know. I'm gonna do two pumps of this. This gives me the perfect hydration just because this is a matte finish. And it's a healthy matte finish and it's not too overly dewy or anything. I don't know. It just holds up so well. It held up for from 8 in the morning up until 8 p.m. at night. And it looked exactly the same. It didn't break up on my chin, which was I was so happy to report. That's something that for me, the first thing that breaks up on my skin now is the chin area i let that primer kind of sink in a little bit on my skin so it can you know just get settled so that way the that way the foundation doesn't like slip and slide everywhere but we're gonna pop out the nars soft matte complete foundation i'm in the shade syracuse i did get the same exact shade that i would be in my natural radiant uh, natural radiant foundation i'm sorry so i got the same exact one and the packaging of course this sleek you get 1.5 fluid ounces, which usually get a little bit more than one fluid ounce, which is, your which is your standard. And it's a twist off, so you're able to squeeze out the product. I'm gonna use about this much. It's like a little bit more. I forgot to mention, a little goes a long way, but it's a little bit runny, as you can see. And I'm gonna get my finger, and we're gonna dot this all over our skin. I did apply mine with a beauty blender. Of course, if you have any type of beauty sponge, this is gonna do the exact same thing. The more you press it into the skin, the more flawless it's gonna look. So that's what I'm gonna do. And at least for me and my, when I used it a couple days ago, the foundation was pretty forgiving as far as not setting quickly, which is also a reason why I really enjoyed it longevity of it is what really really just it was beautiful you know i'm someone who does get oily especially in my t-zone and again as i mentioned earlier this foundation just looked exactly how i put it on in the morning and in the evening i forgot to mention the coverage is completely there full coverage it covered my blemish that i had here with my redness i do have hyperpigmentation it's super you could it's that little dot right there i don't color correct it just because i really don't want to i'm just like whatever about it does give me that coverage so if you're someone who was really like oh my gosh i want to get that foundation do it girl do it I also used it to prime my eyelids, whatever I had on the beauty sponge or beauty blender. And again, just gave me the coverage I was looking for. It makes your face just look like skin. Like, 
Like it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't look cakey. It's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. Now we're gonna pull out the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. And I'm gonna use a stippling brush. This is from Crown Brush and it doesn't have a name or number. I think I got it at BoxyCharm a couple years ago. So what I'm gonna do is just grab some my brush and we're gonna stipple this on. I hate it when I do my makeup and then my face starts itchy, itching, it starts getting all itchy. I'm like, why? Why now? Next, we're going to use a cream blush. I'm using the one from Glossier in the color Beam. I really like this cloud paint. It's so pretty. This one is mostly my favorite color just because it's a little bit more on the brighter side. So I'm using a, another stippling brush that I used that same day, um, we're gonna pop these on the cheeks. It just gives you a very natural flow. It also blends, blends. It also blends really well with the foundation. Just makes it look very natural. Next, we're gonna use concealer. I know this is a little bit out of order. I apologize. I didn't really think it through. For concealer, I have two different ones. These are from Milani. If you've been here for a while, you know these are one of my favorite drugstore concealers. They're super inexpensive. They're really creamy and they just, I love them so much. I even have them in my makeup kit. So if you have not tried these and you're looking for some that maybe are affordable for you, these are the way to go. And also the ones from e.l.f. Those are amazing. The Hydrating Camel Concealers. They're super, super, Full coverage too so i have the shade 145 and 140 i use these two shades just because one's my skin tone the other one's a little bit more brighter so the one that's mostly to my skin tone is 145 warm beige and i'm gonna put three dots right under my under eyes and then i'm going to use 140 this is pure beige and i'm gonna do the same thing You can use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, a brush, however you feel more comfortable. You do your concealer routine. I switch it up here and there. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use the sponge. I don't have my brush, it's dirty, so we're going to use a beauty sponge or the beauty blender. And we're going to blend this on the under eye. The thing with the beauty sponge is that you have some leftover from the foundation so it kind of just meshes into the skin with what you're using which is what i'm doing now just kind of just meshing it all together all right there we go we have our base on and then i'm going to use my mac patrick star powder you can use whichever translucent powder you have in your collection uh, this is just what i use on that day i just put some on the back of my cap i'm gonna use this brush this is a tart brush i know this is this is an eyeshadow brush, but you can use it for your under eyes. Let me blend out the concealer a little more. And we can set the under eye. I'm just putting it right under here. I'm not going any further. And just the smile line, because that's something that, for me, I tend to crease. basically where you would want to remain matte if you are more on the oily side like really oily i would suggest to put your primer on and then put a layer of your translucent powder so that way you can remain matte all day and your foundation can last all day as well so a very very light layer of my translucent powder on my under eyes and we're gonna move on to bronzing the skin. And I did use my MAC, Ma this is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. And I did use this for my cheekies. I used very little, it's just kind of sweeping. It's nothing too precise. Again, we're doing makeup as if it would be like an everyday kind of routine. Something that's not too precise, it's kind of just like makeup for work or just being at home. Just very, very like done up, like like you tried, you know? <laughs> then I use the same bronzer to put on my crease. 
as an all over color. I tend to do this from time to time just because on an everyday basis if we weren't wearing masks I would wear my makeup like this. I wouldn't do like a full glam. Obviously I only you know do it sometimes. But you can do this with your blush as well if you don't want to use your bronzer. It just kind of gives you some depth and warmth to your face. And then we have highlighter. The one that I'm going to use is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade number two. We're going to use this one. This one. We're going to use this one. Just putting that right on the top of the cheekbones. To your liking, of course. If you want more highlight, you girl, add it. If you don't, just use very light layer. And I'm someone who has very super straight lashes. Like As much as I try to curl them, they will not stay curled unless I use a waterproof mascara. Right now, I currently don't have a waterproof mascara. And I am just gonna, you know, I'll do my mascara and then we'll move on to the brows. So that way, it gives the mascara a little bit of time to dry and we can probably curl them, hopefully get a good curl. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. And this is a Japanese eyelash curler. The mascara we're using is a Milani high rated mascara, highly rated mascara. We're gonna move on to the brows now, and I like to brush my brow hairs upwards, you know, just kind of brushing them, brushing them out, and then I will outline them and fill them in with the pomade. So I'm gonna fast forward this just because this takes me a little bit more longer than usual, and we're gonna speed this through. set with my ColourPop eyebrow gel. I love this thing. I tried the clear brow gel from Maybelline and I just feel like this just kind of holds it down. I'm going to set it with the Milk Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. It does smell like their primer. If you don't like the scent of it, then I don't know how you feel about it. I mean, obviously it goes away, but the mist of it is also pretty fine. It's just a really great, yeah, it smells just like the primer, which is, I don't know if that's going to make some people feel some type of way, but I honestly don't mind it because it just stays on for a bit and it goes away. We're going to move on to our lip color next, and please use whatever you feel more comfortable with on an everyday basis, whatever suits you. Of course, this is you know, to your liking. I'm gonna use the NARS Slow Down Lip Pigment. It's basically like a liquid lipstick. I really enjoy this liquid lipstick formula. The only downside is the packaging, as you can see, gets really oily and runny around the tube, which is something I don't like. But this is what the applicator looks like. It's super fine. We're gonna put this on. That is it for this eye makeup look and face makeup look. And again, this foundation is it. It is it. It looks like skin. It really looks like skin. And this can be a very, very beautiful everyday wear foundation for someone who likes full coverage and, you know, just needs that full coverage. And it's just a beautiful finish. It's an A plus in my book. Trust me, this is going to be a for sure. Hope you enjoyed this video. Very super simple, very minimal makeup. Thank you all, as always, for watching if you made it all the way to the end of this video. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Toodles!